Hi, I'm Judy Shook, and I'm inviting you to be a part of an art as meditation practice group, or you can connect with me in other ways. My contact information is in the about information with this YouTube video. I do individual sessions as well, and I use art as meditation as a practice in my ensoulment coaching. So I've got some other videos describing more what art of meditation is and in offering different prompts that you can actually check out and do your own practice. You can use this video as well for your own practice. In my meditation groups, I start with a little connecting and um, a bit of ritual experience um, prayer, you might call it, a little bit of information prompting um, a particular, maybe it's an idea or a theme for the day, and you can use that or you can use whatever comes to you for our time together. Then we break out and have a uh, quiet, um, usually with nature sounds. Um, you're welcome to turn down the volume if you want to hear your own music or uh, maybe even make your own music yourself. And you're welcome to sit in stillness. You're welcome to get up and move, get up and dance. All of those things are fine to be a part of this. So let me address first, what is art? We can create with all sorts of things. Our creative birthrights include moving, and that can be called dance. They include making sounds. Um, that could be story. That could be singing. That could be toning. That could be just whistling, any sorts of things. Um, could be engaged with hearing story. So maybe you uh, are interested in someone else's poetry or someone else's music that help you to feel artful, uh, connecting into that place where it silences the chattery brain, or at least lets the chattery brain be in the back seat so that you can be present to the more whole soul, heart-filled self and um, listen, to, listen to that deeper sense of self. Now, my friend and teacher, Cynthia Witten Henry has shared this book, Art of Ensoulment, and it has some great stuff about what she calls creative birthrights, those being dance, music or song, word and story, poetics and visual art space. Now, when I talk about art space, it can be a simple doodle. It can be pencil and paper, uh, pen and paper. Um, again, you don't even have to have pencil and paper to be a part of this. So I hope you'll be creative with that. If you want to bring lots of art supplies, that's fine. Um, your art, your space, your choice in that. So tomorrow, I invite us to play with a sense of befriending the parts of ourselves that we may not love as much. We have um, in the spring in the Northern Hemisphere, a lot of weddings and, um, you know, it's not Valentine's Day, but there are a lot of things encouraging us to think about partnering. So um, if you're not partnered, it doesn't matter at all. I recently heard Amantha Murphy, a wonderful wise woman from, from Ireland, in an interview saying that we each of each one of us are our own best partner. Now that's not a direct quote, but I love that Amantha said that I am my own best partner. I am happily partnered with, with my husband, but still I am my own best partner because there are things about myself. I've journeyed with myself my whole life, how silly that sounds. Uh, we certainly need to be able to love ourselves in order to love others fully. So this isn't going to be a lot of process with that. Uh, I want to share with you just a little bit of what I've done along those lines. This was some excerpt of poetry from Adriana Atento, a friend of mine. I heard somebody else read it, and I just took some of the words that spoke to me during that time. Somewhere deep inside, she is rising up within me, unfurling. 
I must go through to find my lost and forgotten self, long awaited opportunity to accept the part I keep pushing away. And I just put the words on paper and did a little doodling around it. In some of my other practices, I've encouraged doodling with or making some art, honoring the friends that we have that may not be human. Um, what kind of angels do you have in your life? Um, for me, I love dolphins and whales. You can probably tell that from the art behind me. And you don't even have to make um, something that looks like something or someone you love. You can just make some creative doodahs. And you can use other people's art in collage. I do that very frequently. Images that speak to me. So I've taken some collage from different calendars. And this is kind of a things that I love and things that I feel connected to in nature as a way of giving thanks. So there are a lot of ways to do this. And the information for joining is down below. Again, if you want an individual session, please contact me for that as well. I hope that you realize that whatever comes your way, whatever there is going on in the world, that you can, you have an ability to respond. We all have that response ability. And when things seem overwhelming, take a breath. Think about what can I create in response to this? Even if it's a prayer, art on behalf, and I think that adds some blessing into the world. So create your life with an artful way and a sense of bringing beauty to the world. Have a great day.